Hi, I'm Wyatt Cash at Scoop News Group, and we're here at Fed Talks with Rob Carey, President Cloudera Government Solutions and Vice President Public Sector at Cloudera. Rob, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Wyatt. So let me start by asking, in your opinion, what was the biggest or what is the biggest storyline in federal IT over this past year? Uh, you know, the, you don't have to think too hard about this one. Um, and, and it really does surround that word cyber, right? So there's been the election security, there's been the solar winds hack. There are these uh, events that surround themselves with cyber, cybersecurity, security, the network. And remember, we believe everything that shows up on our computers. We, when we show, see it on the screen, we believe it to be real and true. And we're learning that that's not necessarily the case. Now, now, what we're doing about that is still much of the same thing we've always done about that. So, so I think the, the biggest storyline is really cyber and how to get on top of it. Well, and uh, just to follow up on that, in, in light of the real uptick in cybersecurity attacks in 2020 and 2021, how can the federal government lead the way to protect information and also the national interests against some of our adversaries? So uh, I think the government you know, makes investments in uh, a, a wide and disparate way, disparate not being a bad thing, but in, a, in a, many different investments in this space. And so it is, it is incumbent to change this game a little bit. Um, and we're sometimes slow to do that. But at, at, at the same time, you know, we really have to harden the target. We have to recognize this is about the data, right? This is about and in, in making sure the data is both accessible to the users and protected from uh, the bad guys. So data centric security is paramount here. And because we're in this hybrid multi cloud type environment, um, we do not, we have legacy data centers, we have on prem cloud, and we have public cloud. And so our data and applications are in very different places and sort of require a relook at how we protect it uh, more consistently, more coherently, you've heard the term single pane of glass. So, so right now, this cyber effect it, on the, the nation's uh, information, if you will, the, the information that supports public services is something that we have to look at differently in order to make a difference and keep the adversaries at bay. Well, switching gears just a little, how would you characterize the pace and success of federal digital transformation efforts today compared to the past years before? And what, what do you attribute that to? You know, it's a great question. Uh, I, I, I looked at this question and I, I really did ponder for a while and I thought I have to come back to this word. It's boring, but evolutionary. I do not see any revolutionary leaps in the, in the space. I see evolutionary change consistent with the ability and the budgets of the organizations making the investments on new things, right? But at the end of the day, back to cyber and, and you know some of the huge opportunities that are in AI and ML, things like that, uh, the pace is measured, the pace is evolutionary. Um, I don't see a breakthrough. I don't see anybody with that aha. I don't, that's not a bad thing. It's a difficult problem, right? So we are making progress against the problem. But at the same time, the digital transformation journey of each agency is slightly different, right? And where they're putting their money, their investments, whether it's in cloud, cloud security, hybrid security, right? They are still moving at a pace consistent with their ability to invest. So again, back to that evolutionary term. Well, and then lastly, Robin, maybe on a slightly more personal note, uh, what in the federal technology landscape uh, most excites you uh, in the days and months to come? Well, I think one of the things, uh, not I think, uh, the thing that excites me today is the power of AI and ML to analyze information from disparate sources that we couldn't do before and really start to render insights into uh, a host of questions that the agencies might have. And so I think it's, a, it's we've just started to scratch the surface of the power of really managing data that we've had for the longest time, but we've never actually looked at it and been able to uh, organize it in such a way. And there are now uh, tools out there that can do this uh, I think you and I talked about this a little while ago, but but it excites me to see that we can actually make some breakthrough decisions in support of the mission of the government, you know, serving the constituents and the citizens of the United States. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Rob Carey, uh, as always, uh, thank you for joining us here at Fed Talks and sharing some of your insights on the uh, evolution of uh, government IT. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.